friends in this video we are going to solve a problem on how to sketch the boat plot of a system whose transfer function is given to us so let's take a problem <music> So our question is, we have to sketch the board plot for a unity feedback system which is characterized by the open loop transfer function gs equals to 512 s plus 3 upon s multiplied with s square plus 16 s plus 256. So let's try to solve this problem. Now first we are going to simplify this open loop transfer function so that we can then calculate its magnitude and phase angle. So this is uh, GS. We can take 3 as common here. So this will be 512 1 plus S by 3 into 3. From this denominator part, we can take 256 as common. So this will be S, S square by 256 plus 16S by 256 plus 1. And here we will have 256 as common. Now 256 into 2 is 512. So this will be cancelled. This will be 2 here. And 3 into 2 it will become 6. So GS will be equal to 6 1 plus S by 3. And in denominator we have this part. So we have obtained our open loop transfer function in the simplified way. Now for plotting the board plot, we are going to put S equals to J omega so that we can get the transfer function in the frequency response. Okay. So put S equals to J omega. We will get G J omega. So we will have 6, 1 plus j omega by 3. Here we will have j omega, j omega squared, then 16 j omega. So here we will have 6, 1 square is equals to minus 1 so it will become minus of omega square upon 256 okay so we can further simplify this gj omega this is 1 minus omega square upon 256 plus 16j omega upon 256. Now we are going to calculate the magnitude of this. That is 20 log m. Magnitude then it's logarithm. Because in board plot we have the logarithm of magnitude versus frequency plot. Okay. So we will calculate now 20 log of gj omega 
This is the magnitude of gj omega. So we are taking 20 log of the magnitude. So first we will have this constant term 6. So this will be 20 log of 6 plus 20 log of 1 plus j omega by 3. Then minus the magnitude of this denominator part. So we will have 20 log 6 plus 20 log. And we have minus 20 log j omega also. So we have 20 log 6, then 1 plus j omega by 3, we have this magnitude. For this term, we have this magnitude. And for j omega, we have minus 20 log j omega. Okay. So magnitudes we have calculated. Now for each of the factor, we are going to make a comment that how these factors can be represented on the board plot. So now we are going to form a table here. Now first factor we have in this magnitude expression, it is this constant term 20 log of 6. So we will write here 20 log 6. When we calculate this, this will come out to be 15.6 dBs. Corner frequency for a constant term it is always zero, so it, we are going to write none here. Then slope is always zero dB per, per decade for a constant term, so slope we will write zero dB per decade. And how this factor can be represented on the board plot? It will be a straight line which will having a slope zero dB per decade and. Uh, uh, it will start from this point, 15.6 dB, because this is the magnitude of it. So it will be a straight line. Of slope 0 dB per decade and starting from. Fifteen point six dBs. So this is our first factor. Now second factor is 20 log 1 plus j omega by 3. Or we can say this is the magnitude of 1 plus s by 3. Now as this factor is present in the numerator part and the slope associated with it will be positive because it is present in the numerator part. So slope will be 20 dB per decade and corner frequency will be one, uh, 3. Okay, So here we will have the corner frequency as 3 and slope will be 20 dB per decade. Just take care that it is plus 20 dB per decade because this factor is present in the numerator part. Now, uh, how will this factor has to be represented in the board plot? This will be a straight line which is having the slope plus 20 dB per decade. And this will start from the corner frequency that is omega equals to 3 radians per second. So, straight line.
okay now we will take our third and the fourth factors these two factors Now our third factor is 1 by s whose magnitude was minus 20 log omega. Now corner frequency for this will be 0. So we will write none here. Then slope associated with it will be minus 20 dBs per decade. So we will write here minus 20 dBs per decade. So this will be a straight line of slope minus 20 dB per decade and it will start from omega equals to 1. Okay, because it is an integral factor 1 by S. It will pass from passing through omega equals to 1 and it will start from this magnitude minus 20. Okay, so this is its magnitude minus 20 dB and uh, the slope will be minus 20 dB per decade and it will pass through omega equals to 1. Then we will have our last factor which is minus 20 log of under root okay this is our fourth factor now corner frequency if we calculate then this is omega 16 omega by 256 so corner frequency will be 16 here and its slope will be because this is a quadratic factor so the slope will be minus 40 dBs per decade. So this will be a straight line which is having a slope minus 40 dB per decade and it will start from the corner frequency that is omega equals to 16 radians per second. So for all the four factors, we have made the remarks that how these factors are represented on the magnitude plot in the board plot. Okay, so this was about the magnitude plot. Now for phase plot, we have to calculate the phase angle of the transfer function. So now for phase plot, we are going to calculate the phase angle of the transfer function. So transfer function we were having as this g j omega 6. This is our transfer function which we have obtained. So phase angle will be The phase angle of the constant term 6 will be tan inverse of 0 upon 6 because imaginary part is 0 in this and real part is 6. So tan inverse of imaginary part upon the real part. So we will have the phase angle as tan inverse of 0 by 6. Then minus we have the tan inverse of omega by 3. Then we have minus tan inverse of omega upon 0.
then for this term we have tan inverse of real part is this and imaginary part is this so minus tan inverse of 16 upon 256 omega upon real part is 1 minus omega square upon 256 now this is becoming tan inverse of 0 and this is tan inverse of infinity so tan inverse of 0 is 0 degrees and tan inverse of infinity is 90 degrees so this is minus 90 degree minus tan inverse of omega upon 3 and minus tan inverse of this term so phi will be equal to So we have obtained the phase angle of this transfer function. Now for the phase plot we have to take different values of omega and for those different values we will calculate the phase angle so that we can plot the phase angle versus the frequency. Okay. So we will take different values of omega like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 1, 2, 5, 10 and then infinity. And for those different values we are going to calculate phase angle by putting this value in this phase equation. So our first omega value is 0 0.1. So putting here omega equals to 0 0.1 we will get minus 90 degree minus tan inverse of 0 0.1 by 3 minus tan inverse of 16 upon 256 into 0 0.1 and here also 0 0.1 square so when we solve this we will get the value of phase angle as minus 88.46 degrees okay similarly we will put different different values of omega and then we will calculate phase angle I'm directly writing the values here. So for different values of omega, we have obtained the phase angles, okay? Now, for using this phase angle table and the table which we have uh, made for the magnitude, we will use the, the, these two tables to draw the board plot, okay? Now, board plot, it is the logarithmic plot of magnitude and the phase angle versus the frequency so we are going to draw the board plot on a semi log graph paper in the semi log graph paper we have the divisions like this this is a semi log graph paper the divisions are on the x axis they are uh, in the form of powers of 10 like we have 10 raised to the power minus 1 then 10 raised to the power 0 10 raised to the power 1 2 10 raised to the power 3 so this will be 0 0.1, 1, 10, 100, 1000. So in the powers of 10, we have the divisions on the x-axis. Now on the y-axis, we are going to take in the upper part, we are going to plot the magnitude. And in the lower part, we are going to plot the phase angle. Now magnitude, it is in dBs and phase angle, it is in uh, degrees and frequency, it is in radians per second. Now, the magnitude, it is always with respect to the 0 dBs line. We will draw a 0 dB straight line here. And phase angle, it is always in with respect to minus 180 degrees. So, we will draw a 0 dB line here and a minus 180 degrees line here. And with respect to that, we are going to draw the magnitude plot and the 
phase plot. So let's start. Now the divisions of the scales, it can vary according to our question. Whatever uh, scale we want to use, we can uh, set our uh, scales according to it. Now we, uh, I'm going to use a scale to first draw the 0 dB line. So this is 0 dBs. Then we will have 20, 40, 60 and 80. Okay. So this is the magnitude in dBs and here it's written that the phase angle it is in degrees. So now here we are going to mark the line minus 180 degrees. We can choose it here also because all the angles which we have obtained in the phase angle table, they are less than minus 180 degrees. So they are going to be in the upper side. The plot will be in the upper side. So we will take minus 180 degree as lower as possible. So I am writing here minus 180 degrees. Then it will be So the phase angle it is in degrees and magnitude it is in it is in dBs and the frequency it is in radians per second. So this will be 0 0.1, this will be 1, this will be 10, 100, 1000. Okay, so this is our frequency. Okay, now let's start drawing our magnitude plot so for magnitude plot we are going to use that table where we have the factors so our first factor is 20 log 6 which is the constant factor having the magnitude 15.6 db and it is a straight line of slope 0 db starting from 15.6 db so this is 0 db this is 20 db so 15.6 will be somewhat here so 15.6 and having the slope 0 db so it will be a straight line so i'm drawing a straight line here I'm writing here 0 dBs per decade and this point is plus 15.6 dBs. Now our second factor is having the corner frequency omega equals to 3. Slope is plus 20 dB per decade and it will be a straight line. Okay. So now our second factor it is uh, this having the corner frequency 3 so it will start from omega equals to 3 this is 1 this will be 2 and this is 3 so omega equals to 3 will be here and it is having slope plus 20 db per decade so it will goes upside because it is having positive slope so this will be plus 20 dbs per decade now next factor which we have is this is also having no corner frequency it is uh, passing through omega equals to 1 and uh, starting from minus 20 and it is a straight line having slope minus 20 db per decade so 20 is here omega equals to 1 is here and minus 20 means uh, in the negative side it is having the slope so it will goes like this minus 20 dBs per decade 
the last factor it is having corner frequency 16 slope is minus 40 and it is also a straight line so this is uh, 10 it will be 11 12 13 14 15 16 so 16 will be here so this is omega equals to 16 a straight line having slope minus 40 so minus 40 will be somewhat more tilted and this is minus 40 dBs per decade. So for all the four factors, we have drawn the individual magnitude plots. Now for the resultant magnitude plot of the transfer function, we have to combine all these four individual plot. So how we are going to do this? Start from this point. We have minus 15.6 dB and 20 dB due to these two factors. So total magnitude if we add then 15.6 plus 20. So it will become 35.6 dB. So it will start from this point. The resultant magnitude plot. Now coming up to the slope. So slope due to this factor is 0 dB and due to this factor it is minus 20 dB. So 0 and minus 20 it means minus 20 till it is coming to omega equals to 3 because at omega equals to 3 this third factor is also adding. So till omega equals to 3 the slope will be minus 20 dB per decade. Now, at omega equals to 3, this plus 20 dB factor is adding. So, slope is now 0 minus 20 plus 20. So, the slope will be 0 dB. So, from 3 to 16, the slope will be 0 dB. So, it will be a straight line which is parallel to 0 dB line. At omega equals to 16, this fourth factor is adding. So this is minus 40 dB per decade. So the slope is now minus 40 dB per decade. So this line will be parallel to this line. And the slope will be minus 40 dB per decade. Here the slope is 0 dB. And here the slope is minus 20 dB per decade. So this green line is showing the resultant magnitude plot of the transfer function. We have added the individual plots and we have drawn the resultant magnitude plot. Now the phase plot. Phase plot will be plotted in the lower half of the graph paper. So now we are going to use the table for the phase angle. Now in this table we have taken different values of omega so we are going to just plot these phase angles. We have omega equals to 0 0.1 so the phase angle is minus 88.46. So here omega equals to 0 0.1 phase angle is minus 88.46 so it will be here. Then at omega equals to 1 it is minus 75.16 so it will go upside. Then for omega equals to 2 it is minus 63.53 so omega equals to 2 here and minus 63 will be here. Then omega equals to 5 minus 50.1 so it is 2 3 4 5. 5 it is minus 53 at 10 it is minus 62.4 at 10 it is minus 62.4 if we calculate at infinity it is minus 180 degrees so at infinity it is going to be minus 180 degrees so we are going to join all these points
so this is the phase plot of the system we can take other values of omega also like 10 equal uh, that like omega equals to 20 50 80 and uh, above 100 we can also take so that we can have more values over this okay so this is our phase plot and the upper part is our magnitude plot So in this question, we have to sketch the board plot of the system and its transfer function is given to us. So in the transfer function, put S equals to J omega, then calculate the logarithm of the magnitude and the phase angle. And then using those tables, you are going to draw the magnitude plot and the phase plot. So in this way, you can solve the problems which are based on sketching the board plot of the system where the transfer function of the system is given to you. So I hope that this problem is clear to you. Thank you.